Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media, back with another art journal prompt page that I finished. Uh, this one here is um, actually from back in April. Um, I only did it yesterday, but I was looking for some art prompts. And this is from Mission Inspiration with Mike Deacon. So... Um, yeah, I had a lot, a lot of fun with this page. Just love how it turned out. And I shall go through the prompts that we had. Okay, so the first prompt was to do a wash or cover your page in gesso. Um, so this was actually a page of collage that I did all in white, plain white collage. Uh, there was uh, some bits of black as well. Um, you can see washi tape underneath here still from underneath. It was an art page, a collage page that I did that I, I didn't like the end result of. So I thought it would be a fantastic page to actually gesso over the whole lot. Um, so that was my first step. Uh, step two was add a texture stencil. Um, so... I added some texture with a uh, Love Heart stencil that I made myself. I don't know if you can, there you go. And you can see all these Love Hearts at the top. And uh, I just painted them in gold and outlined them just with a black um, ballpoint pen. So they are all in um, texture paste. And the third prompt was glue patterned paper shapes. Now this I really enjoyed. Um, you can see here um, I have all bits of um, painted paper uh, that I used. Um, and I just tore strips, long strips, and laid them out uh, on my page. And they were all from these that I've been making. And I have quite a few stacks of these now. And I've just painted and played. And I've used a um, homemade jelly plate that I made. Um, and yeah, I did patterned papers and, you know, dripped paint and put string on there for patterns and all sorts of things. Stenciling. So I've been making a whole heap of these papers. Um, so yeah, I just tore, tore strips and put them down on the page. Uh, number four was add a focal image or two. Well, uh, I got a bit carried away and put down uh, my focal image, which are these people. Um, as you can see, I've done it quite a lot of times. And I actually made my own stencil. Um, I make all my own stencils because I just can't justify the cost of like a $14 stencil. You know, some of the A4 stencils are really expensive and I just don't know how many times I'm going to use that stencil. So I make all my own and what I do is I buy these cheap little folders you can pick up with the plastic inserts inside and that gives you a plastic cover and a plastic back as well. I've already used the plastic back on this one. I just cut that sheet off and then I get um, my sharp um, scalpel. And yeah, I cut out whatever design I like. So this one is the one I cut out. So I just um, trace the silhouette of a uh, person that I liked. And then I actually use this part of the stencil and I placed it down on the page and used a sponge with paint on it and went around um, the, um, the mask like that. And I placed it, tried to place it everywhere where there was that paper, torn paper underneath. So I really liked the effect of that. Uh, number five was to make some marks with household items and I decided to use um, an egg whisk. <laughs> um, I've had this for many years and I do use it for um, paint and I just shove it back in the dishwasher. It comes out clean 
um, no worries at all and just went around and pressed this down and made these lovely pink um, circles so that was my household item I used number six was to add a border um, I did a black border all the way around kind of looked a little bit like barbed wire um, but a lot of that has been covered up now um, by one of the other prompts uh, number seven was to add a quote so you can see I've got a little bit of uh, writing here just with a ballpoint pen and some writing over here um, just a couple of quotes that you know I find interesting towards art and then number eight was to finish with a splat drip or raindrops and as you can see I decided on the drips and just tilted my book upwards and let it drip down uh, the page as much as it would it was actually a really thick paint and it wouldn't drip as much as I wanted um, I kept adding water and water and it just wouldn't drip <laughs> but I like the end result I'm quite happy with it and um, yeah so this is my finished page for the uh, mission inspiration April prompt and uh, if you want to do these prompts they are by a youtuber called Mike Deacon and I'll write those details down below in the description and yeah I hope everyone um, has a great day and does some mixed media art and if you like this video and would like to see more uh, please leave a thumbs up I'd love to hear any comments as well everyone have a great day bye